What's up YouTube, it's Doc Funky with another unboxing here for you. Continuing in my series of Hope Don't Ken Revoltech unboxings. This is the fifth <coughs> fifth figure in the line. This is Toki. Toki is, I believe he was the younger brother of Rao, who is kind of the main series villain. Um, he has an older look here, I believe because in the story he has radiation sickness, so he's kind of deteriorating faster than the other guys. So let's take you around the box. There he is in there. You see he comes with a different head. I believe the story on this is like it's an impersonator's head or something. Somebody impersonates him one time, I don't know. Around the side. Do 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 usual stuff. Action shots. So let's pop them open. Tray we get. We're full tech pliers. Nobody wants that. On the back, we have the V-shaped base. Nice big arm. The Voltec joint. Usual stuff. No nub. And let's pop the figure out. There he is. Looking a little kind of hunched over. Not sure what that's about. I think it's just kind of his the design of his his waist here. It kind of just gives him that look, even when you have him standing pretty straight. So that's a little weird, but it's still all right. Looks like he's got pretty much all the you know all the articulation. That the, that the other two Hooked on Ocad figures have, except because of his, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this, I guess we'll just say skirt, because of his skirt thing, you can't really move his hips, and actually, his hips don't really move, do they? Looks like there should be a cut joint in there, but it's... There it goes. Really stiff. Maybe it's just mine. But his hips will move, and this is kind of a soft PVC or soft plastic, so you, you, you can get a little flexible with him. And this will just fly out of the way. He does have clothes on underneath, don't worry. Um, you see he is... Not sure how well you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. He is double-jointed in the knee, just like Kenshiro was. And in the ankles, all that good stuff. <clears throat> he does have one shoulder pad that's a little hard to move compared to Kenshiro's. And he also has, actually his hair is a little bit articulated. You can see the break right there. So his, his fringe will go up and down just a little bit in addition to moving his head. And these side pieces are a softer plastic, kind of like the skirt, so... They'll move out of the way if you want to get his head down a little bit, but they don't have too much give to him. Anyway, so that's Toki. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, he comes with another head for, I guess, a guy who Im impersonated him once. I don't know. But he, this one, too, does have the, uh, the hair that moves back and forth a little bit and the soft edges. So that's kind of cool. He also comes with... Let's see how many hands. Two pairs of hands. We've got two knife-edged hands. Or saluting hands, which I like to use them for. And then two... Not too spread open, because you see the fingers are together. But uh, two kind of open hands for grabbing at people. And then he has two... Let's see if I can get this. There we go. He has two shackles or manacles. Um, again, I haven't seen the, <clears throat> the series all the way through, so I don't know when it is that he gets chained up. But I believe you can just pop. I don't think the hand will fit through, no. <coughs> You'll have to pop the hand off, slip the shackle on around the joint, and then you could probably pop the hand back on. So you can have him wearing his chains 
if you want. You see they aren't connected, so he's obviously busted loose from wherever. Well, there you can see that they're not connected. So he's obviously busted loose from wherever he was chained up. So that's Toki. He doesn't come with a lot of accessories. And he is just a little bit more limited in how you can pose him. Just because of the design of him, the skirt, the long fringe of hair in the back. But still very cool. If you are a big fan of the series, definitely say pick him up. Uh, if you're a fan of the line, I'd say pick him up too. So check him out if you're interested.